Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got quite a few things to go over for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. One of Riddler Q's tweets may have just been confirmed by the Pokemon Masters EX Twitter account. So we're going to get into that. We're also going to get into a rumor as well that correctly predicted the legendary typings um, that was posted before Riddler Q's images. A lot of stuff to go over. So if you're excited for the video, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. It really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, as I just said, one of Riddler Q's tweets might have just been confirmed by the Pokemon Masters EX Twitter account. Um, so, obviously, this is referencing his legendary typings uh, riddle a while back. It was posting about, like, Zekrom, Komo-O. Um, Zacian is a bit of an interesting one. That could kind of give us information on what the next legendary typing is going to be, like the third legendary. Um, but, yeah, Dragon and Electric, Dragon Fighting has basically all but been confirmed now for the Scarlet and Violet legendaries. Uh, which is nice to see that, like, the dragons are finally making their way back into the legendary kind of situation. Because we haven't had, like, a box legendary uh, that's dragon typing since, like, Gen 5, which was obviously, like, Zekroms and stuff. I know we've had, like, Zygarde and stuff since, but that wasn't really ever a box legendary. But anyway, Pokemon Masters EX Japanese Twitter account tweeted this image out. And then Riddler Ku quote retweeted it saying, by the way, they are leaking Titan boxes. So Titan is, of course, the code name for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet, if you didn't know that. Um, so yeah, basically just kind of confirming, you know, it, it, they're kind of just taking his riddles and just slapping it onto the Twitter account now, which is quite interesting. Um, but either way, we've got Soul Silver Art kind of quote retweeting this whole thing um, in a thread. So he's saying, spoilers, confirmation, throw out all your other rumors that say anything else, friends, and thanks, Riddler Ku. And then he goes on to say, well, this is obviously the tweet that he's referencing. So this is where it's like back to the gears. I believe that these are the keys to the Legends type. So they probably both share the Dragon type, but one is fighting and one is electric. So it's the first time since Gen 5 we may have Dragon Box Legendaries. Save this tweet and come back later because you heard it here first. Um, so yeah, this is like the original tweet where it was given like all the hints and stuff. You see like Zach from there, the Titan thing, um, Dragon fighting, everything like that. So it's all there, all adds up. Uh, and then he says, uh, one of the biggest new revelations here is Zacian. The third box could possibly be fairy type or, I guess, steel type as well, because obviously when you give it the, the sword. And this lines up with a tweet I have planned for today. Let's just say a fairy type peacock makes a lot of sense. And then he goes on to say, my probably final thought on this thread is, I don't think that this is Ku giving us information about the box legendaries because a trailer is soon, like he said he would. I think he just tweeted this out as a reaction to Pokemon Masters literally posting his same riddles, but who knows? I mean, I think it's fair to assume that we are going to get a trailer soon, whether it's going to be, you know, this week or next week or, you know, the second week of June. We're not really too sure, but it is going to be within like the next three weeks, I'd say. I'd like, it's a safe guess that we're going to get one in the next three weeks. So, yeah, I think this is just a coincidence that he like um, tweeted this out. Um, I don't think that this means that a trailer is, like, going to be, like, any time, like, in the next week or something. But it could. You never know. Uh, but that's just some confirmation of his uh, leaks and stuff. So, yeah. Basically just confirms now that the Scarlet and Violet Legendaries are going to be Dragon Fighting, Dragon Electric. We don't know which one is which. Um, we obviously don't know what they look like or anything like that. Um, but, yeah, like, 99.9% confirms it now um the next thing we're going to go over is this obviously uh was posted on the r slash pokelis reddit more people talking about it um saying ku's latest tweet referencing pokemon masters again hinting at box mascots again from photo of three pokemon i think the zacian is irrelevant ku is just referring to zekrom and komowo here as the box legend typings uh, at first time he shows the same characters cynthia n and pokemus mc which again is very very true like you know from his original tweet um which was here is it, it's weird man it's like they've just taken the same kind of <laughs> riddle and just posted like as you can see cynthia is there n is there and then obviously like a protagonist and that's exactly what happened in this image here we obviously have cynthia there and and the protagonist so it's kind of crazy that like i don't really know if like they he knew that they were going to post something about this but he got literally like everything right it was really weird i don't understand it but either way zacian is definitely referencing the dog chariot legendary i wouldn't say that remember we always have three legendaries per game zacian type might be the third legendary uh the blurb says in this buddy search only steel dragon and electric type buddies will appear my money is therefore on a dragon steel and dragon electric box legendaries will be kind of boring if I repeat these two types again for box mascots 
um, Zach Crown Dragon Electric, Komoro Dragon Fighting, Crowned Sword, Zacian Fairy Steel. So we could see like a Fairy, Fairy Steel, um, a third Legendary could happen. So then the next thing we're going to go over is uh, this rumor here that was posted um, before Riddler Koo actually spoke about the Box Legends. Um, so it says, we might have seen the real leak based on Koo's latest post. So by the time the leak from 4chan was released, everyone, myself included, thought it was some crappy leak that someone had made up. But if you look into it closely, the typings of the legendaries are there even before Koo posted it. This might be fake and got lucky with the typings, but it's fun to think about if it is going to be real. What do you guys think? So this is the rumor here. Um, again, still take it with a massive grain of salt. They got one thing right, which again is... It's quite a big thing to get right, like the typings of the legendaries being dragon fighting, dragon electric. Um, you know, it could have been anything, really. Um, but either way, uh, we actually covered this rumor, I do believe. Uh, but obviously now it seems a little bit more legit. But it says, hey, I just wanted to show you some information from a trustable source of mine. Can't to talk too much about him because he's been translating these games since August 2021. Always a little bit of a fake vibe when they say how they got the information. But either way, um, again, not confirmed at all that this is true, but it could be now um so yeah sprigatito and then we have gatoa and then Ly Lin Lin Serba, which is a grass dark type which again is not a typing that i would have put on sprigatito at all we also have fue coco evolving into perimore and then full Toro, which is fire ghost and then we have quaxley uh quasimero uh, I, honestly nicknames are really really cool and well, the names of the pokemon are really cool um and i definitely remember going over this and then Ai King, which is a Water Steel. And then Founding Fathers. So there's eight legendary Pokemon, plus three hidden trio, plus singular, 12 in ninth gen. So this is obviously what they got right here. So the Scarlet Mascot and the Violet Mascot. Um, so he says, Arachtardus is Dragon Fighting. And then Mordevelox is Dragon Electric. However, here he says that Cerberlicus, or Cerberlicus, whatever you want to call it, is Dragon um, now, of course, this Zacian image doesn't necessarily mean that the, the final legendary is going to be steel or fairy or whatever, but it could be, um, which is why it makes um, that seem a little bit off there. And then you also have these type unknown thingies, which I guess could also work their way into the story because of the whole like potential type, th like third type gimmick or no type or cl like fusing, whatever it's going to be. Um, it could just simply be that like some of the Pokemon just don't have a type or something and then like everything is neutral on them um, And then we have some more Pokemon here that have just got unknown types and then like hidden light and stuff like that uh, The region is called venture again We should get the, the region name in the next trailer and obviously if they come out and say you know The next region is called venture then this pretty much is going to be true um, So definitely kind of keep your eye on this one because I've got one thing right so far and again if any of this is posted in the next trailer um, then I guess you can kind of say that this is 100% legit. But I think we need a little bit more information. I think one thing could potentially be a coincidence. I think two things, getting it right, you know, you got to give it some legitimacy then. Um, yeah, there's two schools, obviously the orange and the grape shields. We kind of not know that, but that's just what we're also thinking. Unlockable crafting tools, 138 new Pokemon. You have uh, Scarlet, which is the king of venture. And then you also have uh, Inviolet, the queen of venture. You've got your landmarks as well. Uh, some different town names there. Evil team is uh, Team Hook. Um, and then they, they finish it off by saying, like, enough, trust me or not. I'm not interested in convincing anyone. Uh, which is interesting because, you know, why would you post it in the first place? Um, but it says, fake or not, sounds compelling. The look start second stage uh, name being a homage to Casimero is brilliant in my opinion. Um, and then you obviously come on now. The number one sign of a bad fake is exposing any information about their source. Leakers never do this. The reason why we're getting many leaks saying the legendaries are electric dragon and dragon fighting is because Ku put Komoro and Zekrom in the master's picture in April. So when a leak said the type of the legendaries, we still can't be sure if they are legit or not. I think at this point, we better just wait for the official trailer. Since many 4chan leaks have mentioned the legendary's name and the region name, we should be able to tell which leak is legit. Just be patient, people. Fake and real leaks happen with every generation. Like the athlete leaks for Sword and Shield is posted in late May, but we only knew it was legit because of the June trailer. Exactly. That, that's what I mean. Like You're going to get rumors and stuff posted all the time, but when they start getting a few more things correct, which obviously gets confirmed in new trailers and stuff that's when you're kind of being like okay yeah no this could actually be true anyway though that is going to be everything for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure to drop a like down below uh let's try and hit 500 likes it does really help out leave a comment with your thoughts on this rumor do you think it has a little bit more legitimacy now and also what are your thoughts on the start of the starters the legendary is being dragon fighting and dragon electric um ring the notification bell for daily pokemon content everything from me have a fantastic rest of your day and until next time peace